IGTV, how are you? This is Phyllis. I'm coming at you in my kitchen. My kitchen, the Living with Phyllis show. Guess what this time? I have a clip of my show, the premiere of my new season. I'm so excited. I call this episode Tribute to Isla Vida. Isla Vida is more than just the Afro-Caribbean grill restaurant that was on Fillmore Street. It's a philosophy, it's a heart, it's maduros. Look at me, rolling my eyes. It's tostones. <laughs> and not only did I enjoy that food, not only did I interview Chef Jay and Matthew, I did it myself. You're gonna see me do it, kinda entertaining. Won't necessarily say it's Isla Vida restaurant level, but boy, what a big difference. So stay tuned. Take a look at this clip. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, I love this. Tribute to make um, tostones. Okay, so here we go. This is my first time. Let's do it together. We can do this. All right. So first I make a slit. And I have to be careful because I don't want to cut the flesh. I just want to open it up enough. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, well, it's La Vida. Look, I'm doing it. I'm really doing it. Chef Jay, you'd be so proud of me. And Matthew, I didn't even know how to pronounce Medoros, <laughs> let alone buy a plantain. And I think I want them long, so my tostones are kind of wide, like is La Vida. I know I try really hard to be like is La Vida, and we know I'll never get there. So it's always in search of is La Vida, right? Jeff J, I hope you're proud of me. <laughs> we'll see. You guys, you can try this at home. And I know some of you watching, it's like, you know, Phyllis, you are so late. I've been doing Afro-Caribbean food, Jamaican roots in my family forever. Burger. Plantain, I love you. It means so much to me now when I see them. I can now relate because that's part of soul food. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? They're not as big as Isla Vida's, but I think this will work. All right, y'all? I just want the edges to get, since they're already so brown. So let's go back to the skillet. Okay. Cook a little longer. Beautiful, right y'all? Tostones, right here in my kitchen, living with Phyllis. We're doing it, Isla Vida style. Woo! It's a party. All right, we'll flip these. Um, you know, I, I I haven't perfected this, but for the first time, I think this is really pretty awesome. Right? Living with Phyllis, Isla Vida, Tostones. With a hot herbal dipping sauce. Yummy. Now it's time to take a taste. Okay, so now we take the really dark one. Actually, it probably should be blacker than that. I know these, the Maduros, were pretty thick. So let's just do, let's do it kind of like that. I really don't know what I'm doing. So let's just. Let's just go with it. Isla Vida in search of. Let's be clear. I'm searching for it. I haven't necessarily found it, y'all. But we're doing this together. Oops. Now, I think because these are so tender. Maduros. In the final stages, I'll just let that cook for a minute. Okay, you guys. I think it turned out great. Maduros. I did it myself. We did it together. It looks like is Vida. I'll taste it later and let you know, but I am so proud of us. Madoros. Isla Vida style, living with Phyllis. 
beautiful, y'all. Beautiful. Okay, the tribute to Isla Vida. Now, the Living with Phyllis quick way is to use already pre-ground nutmeg and um, allspice and um, cinnamon. Now, I'm used to having these in my cabinet. What do I use this for? Sweet potato pie, sweet potatoes. What happens when, I, look how beautiful that is. Who knew nutmeg? Mmm, smells good. Okay, so the problem is what happens when I get down to the nub? I don't, I don't wanna, I don't wanna hurt myself. So um, that's an issue, but let's keep going. I wonder if Chef Jay actually did it like this, or did he have a nifty difty machine that I'm about to use? Okay, so that's the nutmeg. And then the allspice. Look at this. Doesn't it look like, um, I think it looks like um, black peppercorn. Smells so good. Now, of course, I can't use the plane on that, right? So I did do a small investment because I love Isla Vida so much and I really want to pay tribute. So this grinder, which I've <laughs> just started using, making jerk. So we're going to put the allspice in there, right? And let's also put that nutmeg in. And let's also put in the cinnamon all at once. Time saver. Now, I, I've seen these sometimes for those that are on a budget. I have seen these sometimes at Goodwill. Um, but um, truly, you don't need to invest in this. J just go in and buy it already ground. All right? You can get them really inexpensive. But it makes a huge difference. This is Isla Vida quality. Let me make sure it's locked. Okay, plug your ears. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look at modern technology. Look how quick that was. Both allspice, nutmeg, and cinnamon mixed together. So look at that. Jeepers, we're halfway done. No, we're not. We got so much chopping to do. But anyway, this is the dry spice, the primary foundation of jerk, allspice, cinnamon, nutmeg, freshly ground. I wish you could smell. Why don't we have smell television? All right, y'all. Is La Vida. I miss you guys. All right. Now let's get to chopping. Oh, my goodness. I told you. What? Did I lie? I didn't lie, did I? This is so important. This actually has transcended the restaurant. Unfortunately, the black-owned restaurant on Fillmore, it closed after only nine months. But it's okay because the heart of what I learned from Chef Jay and Matthew about African soul food, soul food, how broad that spectrum is, planting, Whoever, listen, I've never bought a plantain before. I've never ground my own spices. But you can do, if I can do it, you can do it. So anyway, stay tuned for the show. It'll air, um, I don't know what day I'm going to do this, but it'll air uh, my birthday, <laughs> Saturday. But don't worry, I will post on Instagram when you can just take a look at it. I'll put it up on my website, all right? So, Tribute to Isla Vida. Thank you so much for tuning in. Just, I love you guys. I'm getting all weepy because this is a black-owned restaurant that actually celebrated black women and around food. My favorite thing, me, black woman, <laughs> and food, right? Oh, my God, it was wonderful. So hopefully you'll get a little taste of that with my show. <laughs> See y'all later. Remember, Isla Vida forever. Isla Vida forever. Living with Phyllis. Isla Vida means fresh fruit, fresh vegetables, fresh spices, and also that broad spectrum of what soul food is. And just think, it's the whole African diaspora. Can you imagine how broad that is? Puerto Rico, Cuba, uh, uh, the West Indies, all of that is soul food. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Chef Jay. Bye, Matthew. Bye, Alexis. You guys are great. All right. See you later. Thank you all for tuning in. Bye. Bye, IGTV. Bye. Bye. Bye.